Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 4 for another episode of Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga 3DS. Last time, got to Hoo Hoo Village and uh, started climbing Hoo Hoo Mountain. Also, Luigi, Luigi is not doing too well, so let's, let's give him a mushroom. Why not? Why not Mario 2? Uh, we were looking for... There we go, that's the button. We're looking for a way to get ourselves some... Uh, get ourselves some hammers. That's... Uh, there's no water there. Watering hole, okay. Get ourselves some hammers so we can get past a roadblock that Fawful put in the way for us. So, hopefully, we'll be able to uh, do that in this episode. Get some syrup there. We've got these weird things up on the mountain and some gyroids that are on fire. Yeah, so this is the same thing as before. Beware of overhydration. So shoot water into it. Uh, it used to be like a little whirlwind there. It looked so much better than the original. Sadness. Yeah, so whirlwind comes out of that guy's face. Because, you know, that's how that works, I guess. And you can use it to, uh, get around. Oh, there's a... I don't remember save book being there before. That's cool. I guess I saved a little bit early. Uh, or ended the last episode a little bit early, but that's okay. Wow, there's a lot of coins in that one. Okay. Let's just jump our way up here. Just looking at the lower map to see... Yeah, I think this is the way to go. We will be doubling back later, like 99% sure. Let's just get rid of the enemies on the screen. Okay, that was the only one. Uh, I don't know if it's just my computer screen being too bright or something, but, um, like, everything looks just bright. Like, a little washed out bright to me. Like, the light areas just seem a bit too radiant. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Uh, let's just see what is over here before we take the high road. Uh, I'm gonna clear out all the enemies here also, so give me a second. Alright, uh, looks like we have another one of those guys. So let's go back to our water and just go across screen here. We wouldn't be able to drag the water back to that first area that we needed it because there was a, uh, a ledge in the way and you can't jump when you're in this form. It's not really a form, but you know what I mean. But now we will be able to make it all the way across. I think I know what's bothering me with this. I'm, like, pretty sure... I don't know, it feels like the, um, the spin thing had Mario in the front before and Luigi in the back, but I, I don't know if I'm just misremembering it or not. Uh, there's another Xbox symbol over there. So now we're back in the first screen, though. And we can... Jump! Jump! We can finally do this. Or miss entirely. Good job. Jump. Jump. I'm probably just misremembering it, but it's still bothering me. 
many enemies are on the bridge? Just one? There's two of them. Uh, I'm gonna kill these guys. Be right back. Okay, got Mario leveling up for this battle. Doing pretty well so far. Uh... Yeah, we're kinda... Ha-ha! They were running that tap dry, but that doesn't mean that we could st can't still tap it. Heck yeah! That... Better choice of words, maybe. Okay, and Luigi levels up in this battle. Let's see what power gives us. Oh, it's just ones and twos. Nope. Uh, BP. Eh, three is fine. I'm surprised that I haven't seen any sixes. I wonder if they got rid of that. Um, something also to note from the beanie enemies. Uh, in one battle, we got uh, a... A uh, Woo Bean. It's a green bean that pretty much looks like him, but without a face. Uh, for some reason, like those things you used to get like from every battle, but now it seems to be a rare drop because it's in a rare like encounter uh, type thing, which is I don't know, very strange to me. Uh, so we can't do anything here except for talk to this guy. Hello. <laughs> Ah, travelers, I'm Huhurus, the ancient weapon of the Huhu civilization. Beyond this point, the path grows even crueler. You must prove yourselves up to the challenge. Dare you try? Sure. Start now, and within, you must catch ten Huhus. Okay. Do not fall off the ledges. So, essentially, you just have to spin from one thing to another to catch these things. It's not that tough, just don't really fall off. This is kind of just testing that you can actually, like, do it. <laughs> now for your next challenge, you must defeat me! Oh god, it makes noise in this game. Let's go! Okie dokie. Well, it's boss time against. Pillars. So, the strategy that you want to do, uh, by attacking a pillar, you can break it. Uh, the reason why you want to break the one that he's not under is because when you break the one he is under, he will run to the other one and find that <laughs> he has nowhere to run. Ow, that, that used to be faster too. Uh, so, essentially every turn what you want to do is just have one person destroy a pillar and one person, uh, attack Huhuros. So, since Luigi has less power, he's going to be the pillar man. Attack. Oh, he's still in his same spot. That's interesting. Let's a go. Nice. Very nice. Oh, he's upset. Uh, A, B, B, A. I almost screwed that up. Are you dead? You're dead. Wow. Okay. I have this on normal, also. <laughs> Huhuro slacks. Hooray! Nobody levels up. <laughs> He's a fun boss. You have passed the test too. Now you just face the test of reaching the summit. Yeah. And for our troubles, we get a ledge. Oh boy. And, uh, let's go equip our new item, I think. So the Huhuro slacks were for Mario only, as far as I know. Oops. Yeah. Automatically guard. That's interesting. Uh, so let's give the Cosmic Pants to the Luigi. And save up a little bit. Because why not? 
I really shouldn't be saving in the middle of this, but the way this game works, if you get a game over, it goes back to your last save. So you kind of want to be careful. Uh, there's another Xbox over there. Let's get ourselves over to this, though. And get the one that's on the other side as well. Head on word. This will give us water. Hooray. I'm just gonna avoid the enemies for now. I'm slightly confident in our levels, but we'll see. So as you can see the water is a little bit of a distance away, but that shouldn't present a problem for beings such as ourselves. Right? If you see, the ground actually has a little arrow here. That was not in the original game. But it's a way for you to get down here. Oh, yeah! Oh, maybe getting rid of the enemies was a good idea. Oh, new enemies. Cool. Uh, these are Rexes. They are from uh, Super Mario World. Uh, the important thing is, when they're like this, they're almost impossible to dodge. So what you want to do is step on them, because it will shorten them, and make it easier to jump over them. Or possible, anyway, to jump over them. Yeah, I can't read that for some reason. Ow, why are you... <laughs> what? Let's have Mario jump on this guy. Hey, look at that, 30 damage. <laughs> it's crazy. Goodbye. Uh, oh, okay, made us lose our water. That's a euphemism for going to the bathroom. Okay, let's get ourselves the, uh... This stuff again. Actually, yeah, we could just... We have to do from here. Aha! Yeah, it's very sneaky that they make you go around the back here, isn't it? It is. Let's just make sure we're lined up. <laughs> I really miss the little whirlwind, like, sprite that that had, honestly. Okay, so now there's gonna be, like, a moving whirlwind. Oh, no, that's not the moving whirlwind? What am I thinking? I guess something else. Oh, come on. Go as fast in the original. That's weird. It's very weird, actually. And I think we can, yeah, jump up there. Now. Okay, but we're good. We're good. Uh, let's get rid of the enemies here. I'll be right back. Oh wow, a double level up. Uh, let's go... How's BP doing? We can get a 4 in there. I guess 4 is the new 6 in this game. That's too bad. You... <coughs> How's your health doing? Health and attack are like the two focuses you really want in this game, at least in my opinion. Right? There's a one-up mushroom over there, and let's get ourselves into the puzzle. Wow, there's a lot of a lot of Xbox logos here. I don't know how Nintendo got away with it, you know? Plug in their competition. 
I have to be careful not to go too far or I'll just shove you right off the cliff there. Okay, let's see. I might just try to ignore that one over there. Anything else? Oh, there is an item here. Cool. See, what I usually do for that is I, like, fly back into the tornado, but... Like that, you see? It's just a lot harder to do in this version. this. I'm just flying over there. Do I want to read that? I don't want to read that. It doesn't look like there's any secrets that it can reveal to me. But we are at the summit. Hey, that's neat. This island out there, that looks like a castle, that looks like a university, but I wouldn't know about that. Oh, uh, you could just look at the bottom of the platform here. It's too bad you can't see, like, feet. That would be actually kind of funny. Uh, and, uh, let's, let's go heal up and save over here, and, uh, definitely beat up. Definitely get what we need in this episode. Normally I would be like, nah, let's save it for the next time, but now let's end this off. Let's end this off with the battle. You all know it's coming. Hello. Kick. <laughs> you fools! What are you kicking that for? That's a rare stone. It's called a hoo-hoo block. And I'll tell you, anyone who tries to kick a hoo-hoo block down the mountain is a thief in my book. <laughs> huh? My name? Oh, right. I'm called Bulbanadon. <laughs> Was I? The townsfolk were all worried about me, really? But I didn't mean to make them worry. See, what happened is this. I saw Prince Peasley and followed him up here. And then I saw this huge egg it appeared. I was shocked. I was speechless. Which is rare. So anyhow, I've just been here keeping this poor egg warm ever since. Yep, that's the deal. I think something will hatch out of it pretty soon. That's what happens with eggs. Uh-huh. Oh, it's here. It's time. Oh, wow. It's about to hatch. I can't take the suspense. Oh, it looks just like you. Oh, bye. Bye, Rock. <laughs> well, that's convenience. <laughs> ah, well, that's a shock. Talk about one crazy egg. <laughs> Wah! Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Aww, oh, take it little wings. <laughs> For boss time. Against. Drago ho ho. Drago ho ho ho. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is pretty standard boss fight. We're gonna do the same thing we always do. And that's. Bang. Bang. Haha. I think he has about 200 health, maybe? I... Yeah. I don't know if I was supposed to jump over that, but it looks like it. Nice, nice, very nice. I'm getting the hang of this, maybe. Oh, sorry. Press B and get instead of A. It was because I said I'm getting the hang of this, honestly. So, the thing is with this boss, he's kind of like the Rex's. You jump on his head and it lowers it, and it makes it a lot easier to dodge his attacks. I did it again. I did it again. Uh, unfortunately, what he does here... Wow. Uh, is that he creates a rock, and this rock... Uh, gives him height. So, what you want to do is just break the rock. <laughs> I threw a rock at him. It was a big rock. Is 
Did I kill you? Nope. Oh god, you're tall. I don't remember these being dodgeable when he's tallest. No, not like tallest from the Invader's Inn. This should kill you, right? No? Okay, fine. Uh, regular attack, I guess. So hopefully Mario won't die. There we go, beautiful. Waha badge. I don't remember getting badges at this point. Hmm. Oh, hello. <laughs> Cheers to your mustaches. This is incredibly, this incredibly dazzling man is none other than Prince Paisley. What happened to you? I love this. <laughs> no. Well, I suppose you could call it a bit of an accident. I was investigating events throughout the country for this top secret mission I'm on. I suddenly encountered Kekleta and a vile underling Fawful are here on this mountain. But by the time I realized who the fiends were, it was too late. They transformed me into that and shot me inside the egg. Is that so? Princess Peach's voice has been stolen? <laughs> I wouldn't worry about Princess Peach, I'm quite sure she'll be fine. What does that mean? At any rate, we should chase after Kekleta. I want you to visit Queen Bean in Bean Bean Castle as you climb down the mountain. It may be that Kekleta's next, next target is in Bean Bean Castle. I'd bet my life on it. <laughs> Here's a gift for me. Autographed, of course. <laughs> yes, I think a rose matches your queen perfectly. You should show that rose at Bean Bean Castle. They'll permit you to enter. And with that, I must get back to my mission. May we meet again. <laughs> he and Luigi kind of have, uh, have a thing going there. So, uh, what are you guys gonna do now? Check out the minimap if you forget to where to head next. The yellow arrow points to the place you should oh, go yeah. next. Okay, cool, thank you. Also, we have, like, pins that we can put in the minimap now, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm actually gonna... put one there just to remind myself that there's that, uh, giant Koopa thing. But, uh, for now, we are going to end off the episode, and next time we're gonna check in on, uh, Sledge and, uh, Mallet, the other guy's name was. Uh, and see what's uh, what's up with that rock that fell through their roof. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been Survival Level 4 with Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga for the 3DS. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.